again to another Java short tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to continue building on the topic of inheritance and explain how constructors are done in inheritance. So for that I'm going to continue with the example that I started in my previous video in which I have a person class as a superclass and a staff and a student class that inherit from this person class. Okay, before I'm going to explain how constructors work in a inherited class I want to show one small change that I made in the person class. I have actually added a default constructor to the person class and I've added a overloaded constructor to the person class. Um, why I've done this outside this video is because I have already explained how to create a default constructor in and a overloaded constructor in my constructor video. So there's no need to discuss this again. Instead I am going to talk about how constructors work in inherited classes or classes that inherit from a superclass. Uh, the thing that should be noted is that even though methods are inherited from superclasses, uh, as you could see in my previous video, the staff and student class have the uh, all the methods that are defined in this person class, constructors are not inherited, which means that we will have to write our own constructor in for example our student class. Uh, the problem is is that in this constructor, especially if we do a overloaded constructor, we want to be able to set the values in that are in the superclass as well. Okay, so now since I'm in the student class, let me just write a constructor here. So I am going to um, create a default constructor first. So public student and inside there I'm going to give uh, every value a default value while well, starting with the value of the actual class, the, uh, the attribute in the actual class, which is student number which I'm going to set to null and now ideally I want to set a default value to the attributes in the superclass as well well that I could do this by using the set methods but this is not the desired approach for this. Moreover, the set methods may not necessarily be there. So ideally, what we would like to do is from this constructor, we want to invoke the constructor here so that this class can set its own attributes to a default value. This can be done in Java using the keyword super. So you indicate super followed by two brackets and a semicolon. And what this actually does is invoke the constructor of the superclass. So in this particular case, uh, the default constructor will be invoked and all the values will be set to default. Okay, to prove that this is indeed correct, I'm going to use my person test program again. And I'm going to create an instance of student again, so student1 equals new student. And by right, if I declare it in this manner, the default constructor in the student class is invoked. And naturally, this default constructor will invoke the default constructor in the person class, and therefore all the strings will be set to null and age will be set to zero. So since it's kind of hard to print a null, I'm going to print the age in this case using my system.out.print line. So in this case, age, double dot, plus student1 dot get age. So now let's run this, and I think just to make this a little bit more clear, I'm going to add a breakpoint here. And I'm going to add a breakpoint there just to prove that this will be actually invoked. And run this program in debug mode. So Java application, yes, I want to open the debug perspective. Okay, so we have already invoked this line. So now we are jumping to the constructor here. So if I now do a step over, it will actually jump to the person class, set the default values there. Okay, so now if I continue to press, press step over, I'm jumping back to the super class because the constructor invocate the student class, the child class, because the invoking of the super class constructor is done. 
the student number is set and that's it and then my console will print age is zero because that's what the value of age is all right so how does this work for a overloaded constructor because the person class also has an overloaded constructor and ideally I want my student class to also have a overloaded constructor okay so again public student and since this is not a default constructor I need to provide all the attributes okay again I'm gonna take the lazy program away and copy the first set of attributes from the person overloaded constructor and then add the student number to it which is the attribute for this class okay so again these attributes cannot be stored in this class so what am I going to do again I'm going to use the super operator and in this instead of invoking the default constructor I'm going to invoke the overloaded constructor and as with all overloaded methods I can do this by simply providing the values that this overloaded constructor wants to have so there we go then lastly I will just have to set the student number to the student number provided there we go alright so there we have a overloaded constructor for our child class okay and to prove that this works I'm going to create another student, student2 in this case and I'm going to invoke the overloaded constructor so again let's just say okay we have uh, Rose Tyler and which is the name of the student uh, we have the age which well, could be 25 we have the address let's just say it's somewhere in Cardiff I don't know uh, okay let's make it Cardiff one and the phone number I have no idea what UK or Wales telephone numbers are so I'm just going to use the Singapore number and lastly the student number so 00711 something like that okay and then to indeed prove that this works I'm going again to do, going to do a system out dot print line. So in this case, I want to show the name plus student two dot get name and student two dot uh, get student number, which is the attribute for that class. Okay, so now let's run this this time without a breakpoint because well you will actually only see the same thing so there we go so there we go name Rose Tyler student number 0711 alright and there you have it uh, constructors and overloaded constructors in um, subclasses that inherit from a superclass see you next time mm -hmm.